Brook. Uh, I'm just too nervous with this thing. <laughs> uh oh. Oh down. my god! Holy shit! Oh shit! What the fuck, man? Welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> and we're back today with Eleanor. And Eleanor has been just, oh man, two and a half years in the making of just paint and body. I've got about uh, six years since I bought her. Uh, it's been a dream of mine for 40 years. So, I mean, we go way back. And just, it's incredible to me that uh, so much progress has happened. And after all of, and I'm trying not to tear up here because I've had a couple moments. After the last couple of just really, really bad years that I've had, finally something has happened for me. And Eleanor is home and Eleanor is safe. In this video, you will see where we receive Eleanor and we start assembling the body. We're also going to uh, have a walk around and talk about a little bit about it. And then you're going to see how we got it in the garage inside the bubble. Uh, beyond that, um, you may not see any more Eleanor videos for a little while. Right now, it actually just started raining. <laughs> Are you surprised? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but we also have some more videos in the pipeline that are closer to being done. Some stuff about the go-kart and some of B's Carmen Gia. That's right, B was working on her Carmen Gia and we'll get some of those videos coming up soon. Otherwise, please licky likey, comment and subscribe and don't forget to plug that dingle belly so you get updates every time I upload a video. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll be back right after that intro. Well, where do I begin? This has been difficult, and it's the reason for the delay of the release of this video. I've written pages of monologue for the opening of this video, but it just seemed too robotic, repetitive, and um, machine-generated. So I chose this time just to speak from the heart. I've just been through so much over the last several years, and if you've been following me, you'll know of just how many times I got kicked, beaten down. I've just had so much loss, and it didn't end there. There are still so many things that I haven't shared, and I've just kept stuff to myself so I didn't seem like a sad, sorry sack of shit or a whiny, woe is me kind of individual. I don't like those kinds of people. They're not fun to be around, and I refuse to be that kind of me. However, I always try to keep moving forward, onwards and upwards, and I may get slowed down sometimes, but I do never forget, and I keep moving forwards. Not everyone likes my headstrong attitude towards life, and whenever I come out and demonstrate the truth, well, Lee said it best. We'll hurt feelings and uh, babies will cry. Mm -hmm. And cry they have. But this video isn't about the people that don't know what they're doing, that have nothing to demonstrate themselves, that hate the tread pattern on my trailer tires, or fart in the bathtub and bite the bubbles. This video isn't even about Eleanor. But with the help of my friends, I've realized that this video is about me. And finally once, just this once, something has finally worked out. Finally, I got something for me. I'm happy. But for me, happiness isn't what it is by definition. For me, it's lack of anxiety. The not having to focus on problems every day. That's what makes me happy. Sure, I've been excited for this car to come home but I've had more fear and nervousness oh in the result God. and the safety of its arrival. No way. No way. I turned my brain off from the car for several years and I trusted an Earl. And we prepared for the worst. I bought proper insurance. But then I got big support from my friends when I was in need. And with that, finally, my childhood dream of over 40 years has been realized. So with all the negative things that have happened to me over all the years that slowed down my video production, I feel I may have finally reached a moment of achievement. A moment where things may start to become easier. A turnaround point. I have big plans for Eleanor, Gregory, the ATVW, the go-karts, Boomer, the chickens, and all the faces that you know and love from my YouTube show. And even some that you haven't even met yet. With a bigger workspace in my future, Lots of great things are coming, and I'm not just talking out of my ass here. Just wait and see. Thank you everybody for your support of me over all these years. 
Thank you everyone in advance for your kind comments and suggestions. And thank you always for liking my videos. That helps the old YouTube algorithm and in the end, it feeds my animals. Thank you to all of you again. Sincerely, I really mean it. Thank you. You have not seen the car yet, have you? Uh, no, not in its current current state, no. No, I'm not yet. I did see some of the paint on it uh, as much as six months ago. I guess it was last summer. Yeah, well, right. nothing like in person. Yeah, in person is really going to change things up. Here it comes. How are we going to get your face on the camera if you're filming? You want my face? We That's a good idea. All right, let me go ahead and grab a tripod. Unless you want to run the camera. You want the camera? All right. <laughs> Step on the sidewalk. All right, he's directly in the That way. Side. This way? All right, that way you can't see. Oh, this, you don't want me to see. Yeah, this is like seeing the bride on on wedding day oh, or man, whatever. Oh, my wife, so. my new wife. Yeah. <laughs> That's not fair. Everybody gets to see it before me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, come this way. Am I allowed now? Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's it's still sitting in the dark. Yeah. Wow. This is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Duckman running? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's only a few people who don't understand that that's a convertible hood. Declan. The hood's up front. Yes, sir. It's not a trunk either. Yeah. You know how many people correct me on YouTube telling me that's your trunk? That's what it said. <laughs> <laughs> that is a Declan. <laughs> a Declan Don. side now because we've got to turn it around you have to drag it around like a forklift Got it all under control. This is awesome. Jeez, nobody ever helps me. This is like weird. I don't know if I can handle this. Be our emergency brakes. And that's everything, huh, Mike? That's it. Thank you so much, my All friend. All delivered safe and sound. I appreciate it. How much do I owe you? Any parts for a satellite or something you need? I don't know. You got a source? <laughs> Hell yeah, we'll get rid of Hey, we live in the hood, man. <laughs> we can graft it in. <laughs> It probably needs to have a little class, huh? <laughs> yeah, you gotta give a little class. A little bit of, you know, Hitler engineering. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. 
we're going to put this together in just a little bit. I see some of my seals on there started peeling already, so mm. i got to throw a little more glue underneath it. Yep, I've been yep. holding good the whole time, and now it's just finally like, oh, yeah, <laughs> should have left excited. a chair on it. It got excited. Oh, yeah, I should have left a chair on it. That's actually the best I've ever seen them stay anyway. Yeah, That's this fine. Whole, this whole deal worked out perfectly. <laughs> it did. The timing was just... Uh, your car done, me getting mine down there. and The timing of the whole thing was just incredible. Thank you, Earl. Yes. Yeah. As always, thank you, Earl. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Lee, you can get a drive out of this thing when I get this thing together. I promise you that. <laughs> I owe it to you. I really do. Kevin, I'll let you drive it too. What the heck? I'll let you have a duck sitting on a passenger seat next to you. <laughs> Kevin's the other duck man, for those of you that don't know. He used to have a duck also. <laughs> well, all right, we got a little work ahead of me now. But hopefully it'll just be a matter of putting together Legos. You don't have any excuses now. Yeah. So it'll be going by 10.30 tonight? That late? It's a Volkswagen. I'm trying to give you a little beer time. Okay, you take a break for beer. That makes sense. That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. <laughs> Got to be together tomorrow. Yeah. All right, I'm out of here. Appreciate you again. Thank you, Mike. You bet.
Hemorrhoid chick. Well, it's got a diaper on. He is wearing a diaper. A <laughs> <laughs> little wee wee pad. Yeah. My Eleanor is that she's a squirter. Could have an accident. My kind of girl. Yeah, could have an accident. It's <laughs> that time of month. See some of the hammer marks from the guy that was working on it before me. All under there. Well, you never see it when they put the, the engine in, but. <laughs> are, you, are you putting the uh, cardboard? Uh... No, I'll probably put stainless or something. Maybe yeah. yeah. We could do better than cardboard. Tar cardboard shit. Cool. Anything but cool. Positioning ain't easy. No, it's not. Once you get it up though, it's you might need to help me grab one side. Can you do that? Okay. Yeah, I can't I can't pick that up by myself. I'm, I'm, I'm just too nervous with this thing. <laughs> I get it, I respect that. Are right, you ready? Yes. Oh hang on. Three. You went faster than me. Alright, we're up. Move it to where you need it. It's going down nice and easy. It's looking good. Oop, oop. Turn, pull your uh, right end over. Move your, move that way. Oop, there you go. Ooh, it's, it's like you're not fitting in there. There it is. There it is. Okay, All right. we're, we're on. Me now. We're on and down. Jump straight. Okay. I think so. Make sure it clears everything. Okay. Going down, really? Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're in now. Though. Yeah, we are. We only off of this hole by a little bit, by half inch. Half inch. Oh, it's perfect. We're half, perfect. Half inch that on this side. Yeah. Move, so yeah, that's us. That, that's fine. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Woo. I picked up that front end. I was like, dude. Yeah. It's like, once you... Uh-oh. <laughs> you didn't look that big from the front. That's what she said. It's better than I thought it would, actually. That's been a lot better than I thought it would. I thought we were going to have more problems. What was that, that chirping noise that back there? Actually, get something or something? I think, you got I think that was one of those things you're saying you gotta watch out for. I thought this went down inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Good. Yeah, it won't touch once you put the bushing that, in. That's, I mean, it couldn't <laughs> be any easier than that. That was... <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, and I didn't even know But what my God, doing. Earl. That is a lot heavier than it used to be. Yeah, all that damn lead you put in there. I was going to say that. We were just talking about lead sledding, because that's what that's Dad was. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm convinced that Earl didn't use any fiber tech stuff. He used he used lead, probably even on the fiberglass. <laughs> Some boat is that thing right is now. heavy. <laughs> Sacrificial animal. How many cars are running off balance, you think? <laughs> Having my walk around. Look at this. Almost looks good as a rat rod. Maybe we should leave the fenders off. After all the work Earl put into them. We don't need none of that. Yeah, let's bahad. Where's my sawzall? You got it with you? You got blades? I'm out. <laughs> You know how long it would take Earl to come here to kill you? <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I say Earl, I think that was a mistake. We need to put that back on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. 
This is, uh, wow. It's, it's so surreal seeing it here in my driveway. Just, this is incredible. Time's finally come. Yeah, finally something for me. Finally something good happens to me. Being single face. Yeah, that's true too, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> and now we got this dolly over here. I wonder what we're gonna put on it. I'm thinking maybe a CJ5. Five, CJ7, we got a 74 Beetle. Well, we can't stack them. We're gonna have to do one first. Uh, we can stack them. And then it wouldn't look too good, though. <laughs> no, I'll be an ugly baby. Unless you want me to weld them together. Okay. We just, we just grafted a, 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 a high top onto the roof of the Oh, I see what you did. You duck down a little bit and do that. Yeah. <laughs> You don't have the lens effects that I do, but I can actually make it look the same size. <laughs> That's funny. Look at that. That's my thumbnail image right there. That is my thumbnail image. And Petey's inside calling me. Yep, yep, the colors are starting to show. Especially in the lens, it looks more, almost like a goldish gray. Although right now in real life, I see more of an olive green starting to show. Yeah, I see the olive. Yeah, the olive is really showing. It looks so much different than it does on the, on the videos. Like, it's got like multicolor. That's what I want to say. I want to see the sun hit that. That actually has a rubber shield going around the thing, doesn't it? Uh, no, it's supposed to ground out. Yes. Sometimes people glue them in. I am going to seal it up because it's my car. <laughs> Wow. That's a one-off gas tank. I made that. Yeah. You can see it's a inline six uh, valve cover. <laughs> you know what kind of does look like that? There's your oil filler, right? Yeah. <laughs> I always thought that when I looked at it. Nobody else has ever said or, it before. Or, or even like an oil pan. It looks like an oil pan <laughs> upside down, yeah. Yeah, I see that too. <laughs> but yeah, the, totally the fill. Yeah, I mean, I saw that I way. I definitely see a 258 inline. Man. Look at the the gloss on that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, careful now. I'm there sorry, you. baby. That's your first <laughs> Is it? Nope, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Plastic, you call that oh, we're gonna have to do the honors though. I'm gonna have to scratch it. I'm gonna have to put a scratch on it. Oh yeah, we already did scratch it actually. I did that on this side over here. Where was it? Up under here somewhere. Some something got caught. Up under here somewhere. Right you can't even see it. Is that where it was? Well, no. Yeah, it's probably way down in here. Right there, yeah. right there where you're right about where you were looking. Yeah, way down in there. You can't even see it. I mean, it's just a, a little piece of metal just stuck out, just enough to get caught and it scratched. It may not even scratch the body. It might have scratched it's the horrible. It might have scratched yeah, the chassis. It, felt worse. it may have scratched the chassis more than the body. You think about it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, it's way up underneath and there's no, no paint. Maybe a little paint swap, but as Earl says, there's no paint swap in my shop. No, there isn't mine, unfortunately. Don't spin, don't spin either, right? <laughs> but now that it's on there, it's uh, it's not coming off again. Yep. I may lift it up just a little bit to put the rubber things up underneath the front, and it'll go up probably a quarter of an inch just to slot the little piece of rubber in there that goes underneath. But you know, uh, one of them air cushions, you know, the squeezy bottle ones. It's, whoopee cushions. It's, it's like a whoopee cushion. Yeah, it's like a whoopee cushion. It. <laughs> I had it's actually three, not a bad idea. I had three of them, and then they disappeared. Yeah, they, the job we did. It's an air bladder. You use yeah, them for it's a, opening doors to break into a car. Really? There's my transcription. If you think about Man. it, stick that in there and then fight it, it'll, it'll, it'll pull, pull All right. It That's an old Enterprise trip. Enterprise. Oh, yeah. Locksmith trip, too. Okay. Guess uh, one of the first things I'm going to work on is going to be putting a steering column back in. Uh, nobody's listening to me. That's fine. Oh, I didn't know if you were talking to me. <laughs> I said one of the first things I'm going to do is probably get the steering column put in so that way I can actually steer it when I push it in and out of the garage. Okay, well what we need to do is we need to wrap up those fenders again and get them pulled back out of the garage because they're conveniently placed inside but inconveniently because that's where the car's going to go. Fenders are not going on now. The car's a lot smaller without them. Makes it a lot easier to work around it. We're going to very delicately place them inside the car where they're safely wrapped up and everything should be good.
You want to do that while the, the car is out here? Yes, of course. We're not going to do it when the car is inside. <laughs> Great logic, though, Bill. You know. Let's see this down here. Everybody's always asking to look down in here. There's my rear hatch. You may remember about four years ago when I did that work. And you can see the uh, cross brace that's in there. Of course, there's a starter. Everything is just a lot easier to service from the inside of here. And people said you couldn't do that, Glenn. Yeah, you can't do that. It'll never fit. Not only did it fit, but it fit like it was meant to be. Amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to shuffle some things around. And we're going to rewrap those fenders real quick in some horse blanket. <laughs> I work on something big in my life and it comes to this stage. Woo! It's not excitement. No, no, no. It's it's nervous anxiousness and that's what it is. Uh, once she's here and the garage door is officially closed and she is safe is when I will finally feel a little bit more relaxed. <sighs> Much deserved after that. Yeah. Yeah, times four. <laughs> King King. Mm. We got a move without a scratch. Almost. We got one. Yeah, one minor one. We got one. It was, it was on purpose. That's right. The bubble will take care of it, motherfuckers. <laughs> the bubble will fix the scratch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> yeah. The little men in there. Mm. At night, they do body work on it. Salt on the rim. No rim job for me tonight. Mm. It tastes good. <laughs> There we go. White, white stuff, red stuff, and green stuff. Yes. They, we got some guaco. This is a uh, house made. They make it right here. Yeah. Good stuff. It's like freshly chopped up avocados and stuff. That's it. Mm. And watch him pour that cheese right down his mouth. Oh. Right. <laughs> we got some white stuff. Queso from my Aso. Okay. Mmm. And so as always you guys, clicky like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to plug that thing little bit get please every time I open a video. Red stuff. Got some red stuff. Uh -huh. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and check out DuckShit.net for all my different social media links. We'll see you guys next time, hopefully with another video. El hopefully with another Have another drink. I'll get it out. <laughs> Hopefully with another Eleanor video update. Oh. But don't be surprised if you see something else in between because I've got some go-kart stuff coming up and i got some Carmen Gia stuff coming up. Ooh. So we're going to try to sneak that in between. But you know what happens? As soon as I upload the Carmen Gia, people go, Ooh, where's the Beetle? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's right. See you next time. <laughs>